from the Arklatex. Well, today a big outbreak of severe weather, especially across the middle of the country. We were on the bottom edge of that uh, severe weather, as mainly in our part of the country, uh, hail was the biggest issue, as we did have numerous reports of golf ball and even egg-sized hail uh, in northern Hempstead County, also in parts of uh, uh, Shelby County, some rather large hail. And zoom this out, you can see the expanse of all these severe weather reports, as there have been over 400 reports of uh, severe weather, including over 50 tornadoes across much of the Midwest. Fortunately, we didn't have any of that tornadic activity uh, here across the Urkel text. Now out there right now, you can see one final thunderstorm a cluster, which is uh, moving away from Shreveport. So we're pretty much done in Shreveport, and this is probably going to be the last uh, significant chance of seeing any severe weather. And uh, during the next hour, this will continue to work its way towards the east. This cluster of storms uh, possibly producing upwards of uh, penny sized tails. It is moving towards the east at around 40 miles per hour. So you can see it extending from south of Minden uh, through Lake Bistano into the northeastern sections of uh, DeSoto Parish. Let me show you a future scan here, which takes the last couple of scans of the radar and pushes things forward an hour. So it basically gives us an hour forecast on uh, where this uh, activity is going to be going. And uh, as they put this in the motion, you can see the uh, thunderstorms here during the next hour, uh, likely continuing to move off towards the east if I can get this to uh, uh, move forward as we uh, are going to be looking at uh, this more than likely in the next hour beginning to move out of the Oracle text and once this does clear chances are we're pretty much done as far as the severe weather threat for tonight. Let's take a look at uh, Robin Sir to Futurecast and you can see that it does show as we progress our way into the uh, next couple of hours again a few scattered leftover showers and thunderstorms possible that very quickly moves out nothing new developing we clear out and that'll set the stage for what's going to be a half and half weekend. First half looks great. Tomorrow we'll see lots of sunshine. Last half not so great as clouds will begin to move into the southern sections of the area uh, tomorrow night. And then Sunday we're going to be looking at uh, quite a bit as far as uh, rain making its way back into the uh, weather picture here. You can see uh, during the afternoon most of the rain northern half of the Oracle text and it could be heavy in spots. We will see some thunderstorms but the severe weather risk at least the way it looks right now is looking somewhat minimal. If we do have any issues, it should be rather isolated and you can see that activity will move through the rest of the Oracle text mainly Sunday evening. Now after that, as we look at the overall pattern here, next week is looking still. I've been mentioning this for the past couple of days, very wet. You can see the big upper level low here. This is what's responsible for the uh, big severe weather outbreak across the middle of the country today. It's going to move out. Here comes another smaller disturbance, which will bring our rain for Sunday that moves out and then we'll see another one of these big upper level lows move in pretty much the same spot. This is also going to bring a threat for some severe weather, probably to the north of the Oracle text uh, Tuesday uh, very well could bring us a shot for some thunderstorms that could be strong and severe Tuesday night into Wednesday. That'll push on through and then this persistent southwesterly flow with this upper level low off the coast of Baja, California will continue continue to provide us with off and on rain through next weekend. So if you add up all this rain from this Sunday to what's anticipated from Wednesday through next, actually the following Monday, we could be looking at another three and a half to over six inches of rainfall across the Oracle text during that time frame, which much of this actually could happen towards the end of next week. So a forecast in the meantime tonight is uh, looking better as we will see what's left of the thunderstorms. That one final cluster should move out here in the next hour or so. We'll see temperatures that will fall tonight with a clearing sky down into the low to middle 50s. Tomorrow we'll see plenty of sunshine across the Oracle text. A pleasant day with highs ranging from the mid 70s north to the upper 70s to low 80s over the southern half of the Oracle text. 10 day forecast shows that temperatures across the Oracle text will stay rather warm upper 80s with a break in the rain for Monday and most of Tuesday. Again, Tuesday night, Wednesday, a few strong storms possible. Then we're looking at mainly rain for the rest of next week, but it could be heavy at times as daytime highs should retreat to the 60s and lower 70s. Lows fall back into the 50s. Jackie? That is a lot of rain, Todd. Thank you so much. Well, next on NBC6, we 